One day, are we? No more roadblocks and checkpoints. Just you and me and the bikes. Open road for miles. All this bullshit far away. I swear to soul. Well, shoot, now I don't have any excuse. Let's play Dark Sector again. Let's just go ahead and soft reboot the whole thing. We're gonna do this uh, live to tape rather than with pre-recorded gameplay and scripted uh, commentary after the fact, because that vibe doesn't really work with me. I found out over the years. I just I prefer to be chill and just uh, play the game and comment on it in real time. So this is gonna be a little bit less structured, a little bit less scripted this time around. But with Warframe 1999 on the horizon, this is going to be probably the last time that this is going to be super relevant. <laughs> and I did not realize they had an attract screen for this, which is just the first cutscene. So that's fun. I've been setting up for quite a while here, so... <laughs> like I said, this is going to be uh, less polished than the original Let's Play was aiming to be, but it was an ambition I couldn't quite fulfill. But at any rate, this is going to be a playthrough of Dark Sector that focuses on its connections to Warframe, and how Dark Sector was sort of... In 2004, the proto Warframe, but then we got this in 2008, and then four, four or five years later, we got the actual Warframe. So, in the middle is this is the story of this redheaded stepchild. Uh, I've got other videos in this playlist uh, that kind of go into more of the details and the evidence. I'll make sure that's in the description of this video. But, <laughs> I need you to stop doing that. I suppose that's uh, a cue that we should just get into this. We're going to be uh, playing on Brutal Mode. Because that, which is the uh, difficulty that unlocks after you've already beaten the game. So, uh, this will surely wake me up. <laughs> Here we go. Dark Sector, Brutal Mode. Все чисто. Продолжаю обход. I can't do this again. Just stay focused. Use your training. I thought I could, but, but you're I passed the point of no return, Hayden. You're already inside the compound. Decisions made. Are you sure this thing isn't airborne? It's not, but even if it is. 
charges. Your booster's good for another six hours. Now get with it. Plant your charges. Then infiltrate the building. So, meet our protagonist, Hayden. And if you uh, were lucky enough to have read the prequel comic, Dark Sector Zero, uh, I don't believe they say it at any other point in the game. Sorry, listening to the ambient dialogue. Hayden's last name is Hayden Tenno, which opens up a whole can of worms. Way back when I first started the Let's Play, even the name Tenno was kind of a mystery. You know, it was the, it's the name of the the player characters, the space ninjas that fight through the galaxy, but we didn't really fully know. There were some lore hints, but we weren't sure what Tenno meant. Now, pretty unambiguously, we do know what it means. It's the name given to the survivors from the Zeraman Ten Zero who returned from the void. Not exactly a way for a last name to be shared, but still pretty interesting in its own right. So this uh, PC port is a bit rough, and let's just kind of leave it at that. If you plan on getting this game yourself, uh, definitely check out the PC Gaming Wiki for tweaks you can make to it to make sure it renders correctly. Unfortunately, ambient dialogue doesn't have di uh, doesn't have the subtitles, so. Target has an increased metabolism and hardened exterior. Their flesh continues to harden over time, so decisive action is required. Enferon gas is an effective complement to your arsenal. Enferon is a mild irritant if inhaled by a healthy adult, but applied to the infected target will cause paralysis and death given sufficient exposure. They've got gas grenades to deal with the infected. Yeah. I'll try to... I think I'll try to... I keep getting interrupted by ambient dialogue that has no subtitles. It's really annoying. So this kind of sets the tone, right? There's an infection going around, and we're straight up invading this place because we got a job to do from an agency. Hayden Tenno is uh, both kind of your standard meathead and also kind of has some interesting foibles of his own. I'm a writer. Most of my most of my like in-depth uh, critiques are going to be focused on sort of the writing. But just kind of be aware that it's going to be kind of a... kind of a B-movie situation. Don't take it too seriously. Oh, that was bad. Also worth mentioning, this game originally came out in 2008, and the Bloom situation is going to be crazy. But, you know, it's your 
otherwise you're fairly standard third person shooter of the time. Which makes it all the more tragic that it could have been, you know, Warframe before it was Warframe. But we'll get by. Headshots are extremely powerful in this game, pretty much from the word go. One headshot will do what, like, nine body shots would otherwise require. Also, you've got to be careful of every corner, because they will just spawn mid-crossing. So, controlled bursts are your friend here. It's amazing how from far away they kind of uh, pop out like wooden cutouts. No, I said kick it. We have various ammo types that are shared between different weapons, but that's not really going to be relevant for a while. We can get a bunch of ammo that we need right now, but that's not going to be the case forever. Almost, I almost kind of resent it. It kind of puts you to a false sense of security. Hello, Victor. Oh, thank God you are here. Somehow he knows I sent uh, that Hayden. message. Hayden, you I got just a little... need to know where Mesner is. The Wesleyan military is working for him now. They've got a chopper coming in. <coughs> but listen to me. He's trying to get inside the vault. If that happens... It's done. Good. It was too dangerous to extract him, and we can't risk bringing the infection back here. My head is killing me. You better pull it together. If Mesner gets that infectious material out of Lazria, it'll spread like the plague. I just want to get this over with. So find Mesner. He's the linchpin. Put a bullet through his head. So Hayden kind of comes across as this, you know, grizzled, tortured, ruthless operator who doesn't really like doing what he's been told to do. And some of that gets like, and some of the why gets explored in Dark Sector Zero and through implications uh, in this game. But... Oh, geez. This this whole kill box, jeez. Oh, very nice of you to step out for a second. All right. Let's just go over this way. Oh, that stopped way earlier than I thought it would. What was I saying? Hayden Tenno's characterization is personally very interesting, but I don't think it's, it's uh, interesting to everybody on paper. He's, you know, kind of your meathead anti-hero, but emphasis on the whole tortured, grizzled aspect of it. I think they, they, they do go into a kind of interesting place there. there. There's an ambition there that is worth discussing. 
But if I had to lay down like a broad criticism of this game's writing while I'm getting shot. Okay, the neck. The neck. You don't respect the neck shots, but one headshot. This is... Why am I trying to do like an in-depth analysis while I'm shooting through a base full of soldiers? If I delay down a broad criticism of the game, it's that uh, the stuff that's on the periphery that's not in the game, that's not the text, like subtext, implications, uh, contextual material, is way more interesting than the stuff that's actually on the screen. Now to fight a helicopter. Because in video games, all helicopters must die. No, that's not. That's not anything. We do have grenades, by the way. They also have grenades. We do not have a lot of health. Accuracy is not great at the start of the game. Also, we need this. Very quickly. Oh. Nope, didn't quite lock on there. Well. Oh, and he's already repositioning. Come on now. Here's where ammo resupply comes from mainly. Sometimes it takes a while to figure that out when you're first going through this. A lot of the major encounters in this game are a game of trying to figure out what am I supposed to do here? And what cover can I abuse the heck out of? Next. said you had gone insane. Oh, but they said the same of you, didn't they? Unstable, psychotic, unfit for duty, and yet they still sent you, in spite of the fact that you are so broken. But I can fix you. Do it. Wait! Wait! Ah! Uh! 
You know of the Lotus. Prized as a rare beauty, and yet it blooms amidst filled out and decay. Of course, you die in the process. But I think you. Maybe I do.